I usually don't make my child wear a mask when we go out in public. We're less than a month away from triad kids heading back to the classroom. How they do that safely as the COVID-19 pandemic continues is up for debate. And that's what the science was all told us, that if we get vaccinated, we don't have to wear masks. I'm okay with them wearing masks again. Um, as far as, you know, just for their safety and everyone else, whether vaccinated or not. It's a sentiment echoed by Guilford County school leaders who sent this memo out to members of the Board of Education ahead of Tuesday night's meeting. In it, officials note the spike of percent positive COVID tests and the state health department's recommendations that K through 8 and unvaccinated students mask up. And I think if they kind of follow that model this year that um, everything hopefully will be okay. There are cases where even those vaccinated um, are contracting the virus as well. The district's legal counsel advises vaccination status needs to be voluntary for students and that can be tricky when trying to enforce mask wearing. To get in trouble for not wearing a mask, I, I I'm not, I don't like that. At this point, you can't live in fear. So I don't really worry too much. But Pat Tillman, District 3 representative for the board, says to require masks at this point in the pandemic is taking it too far. I think it should be optional. If I had to guess, I think the board is going to accept the recommendation. COVID is going to be with us, I believe. Uh, for a long time, very similar to the flu. And, and again, if we're going to follow science, if we're going to follow data, like we have said from the outset, the data clearly shows that children do not spread the virus. 